Welcome Taurus. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to look at what is going on for you over the next two weeks and what it is that you can do to um, assist with actually getting through this time of your life. Okay, so I don't know why I sung that, just, just was, yeah. Anyway, I'm Juanita and we are going to be using today the Sacred Light Oracle deck and the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's start with Sacred Light Oracle. I absolutely adore these cards, so we'll give them a quick shuffle and then we'll pick from the top because honestly it can take ages to shuffle. Let me just get this organized here okay so let's have a look first up here taurus we have divine creation very cool okay so um what am i getting from this so taurus this this like if you think about divine love right when you're talking about creation it's it's what that divine creation actually kind of sends out yeah so to me that's divine love yeah and um and and that would help you release um uh, any negative feelings about you know maybe like how would I put it, like feeling bad about giving yourself time to nurture yourself, okay, um, maybe any negative feelings surrounding any family issues that you might have, um, and it helps to release feelings of, of like um, mistrust or any vulnerabilities, Negative feelings occurring because of betrayal, feeling guilty, okay, because it's like, Taurus, old wounds have stopped you from actually moving forward in your life and progressing, so it could be the case for some of you that you might need some assistance from a professional to help uh, guide you through that, okay, um, yeah, but accepting yourself for who you truly are, because when you let in that divine love, it can create feelings of euphoria. Like when you actually connect in, it's so powerful that the physical body can't actually hold it. Like that is how powerful it is. But on a divine level, it's sort of naturally where we come from, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely something that will help you in your life, okay. So we have um, this card here, which is titled Laziness. Now, this, I feel like this Taurus is like kind of doing the work half pie not actually putting in the full effort, kind of like doing, say, a little bit of meditation and going, okay, well, I've done the meditation now, everything should be fine, but it takes a lot more work than that, okay? Um, and also, the other thing I get from this card is denial. Like, this guy here, he, um, sorry, I was just getting another message then, which I'll hold on to to deliver. Um, he is sitting in his kitchen pretending he's um, at the beach, right? And he's not actually accepting that that is not the case. So he's in this kind of denial. And, um, and I feel for you, it's like you've put in so much work and you have made progress, but you can't slack off. Okay, you can't... Um, 
you can't like I said before you can't just do a, a, a little bit and then kind of like wipe your hands of it and go okay well that's that done now okay it really is about taking this time because if you have a look here this picture on the inside here is um is all colorful right um I feel like this energy on the outside is is emanating from this person so this person has done a little bit of work to to make their world colorful okay as you can see here from their top but it hasn't actually radiated out into the outside world of this person because they haven't actually finished the job um, so there is still work to be done okay and I get it Taurus like sometimes it's just like oh my gosh like it's just Oh, it's so heavy, make sure you take time out to rest in between, you know, you don't have to do it all at once, take the time, um, you know, to actually refuel, okay, the next one we have here is Dharma Wheel, interesting, so this Taurus is really about being mindful of um, karma, okay, things are going to be revealed, okay um it's keeping yourself in check distancing distancing yourself from any volatile situations okay any high any energy events and really making sure that you're acting with integrity and grace okay um not caving into peer pressure okay looking at your karmic lessons and being aware of those, okay, and potentially maybe how you could have created any um, karma that may be coming back to you in some shape or form, okay, and and just just keeping your moral compass in check, pretty much. Um, yeah, but I feel like there is, um, you know, luck in in business or uh, you know things that you might be creating um and just to watch out yeah for other people around you because look at this politics it could be the politics of the situation to just be really weary and maybe keep away from people you don't know too well just for the time being okay because you don't want any snakes slithering in and, and putting on this mask and pretending like they're all, you know, honky dory, and actually they're being being very sly. So be aware of that, especially this coming up with the Dharma wheel. Be very aware of that. Past lives, very interesting. Looking at cycles, um, uh, this could be generational um, karma coming around okay so things could happen and you could be like why is this happening I haven't done anything to create this karma it could be generational I feel like maybe if you know of any generational things that have happened in your family um, to maybe look at seeing how you can heal that yourself okay uh, but really keeping it positive keeping that your mindset positive not getting into, into any negative thinking because you don't want to project that out to come back at you at a later date okay celestial channel very interesting well this is really a mixed bag Taurus um it's kind of like in, in order to be this celestial channel to keep your channels clear to communicate with your guides or uh, higher power um, you need to really be dealing with any concerns or worries that you have about family that you might have about what's going on in your life whether it's work uh, whether it's any relationships, um, you know, really keeping yourself in that space um, of constantly cleansing and renewing your your energy field, okay? Um, making sure that you're grateful for what you have, okay? And... 
also honoring your light and your shadow self okay because keeping those channels clear if you are not um, honoring either one of those some people don't honor their light because they don't actually want to shine okay um and some people only focus on the bad about themselves uh, other people don't want to see the bad about themselves and only want to shine the light so whichever applies for you um just take on yeah but it really is about honoring both because this is this it is the um the shadow and light encompasses the whole of who we are and so um, if we are ignoring one or the other and not embracing them with love and nurturing and acceptance then we're not honoring ourselves and so therefore that kind of like um I'm just seeing, do you know what I'm seeing? I can't even find the words. I'm seeing this this cloud. It's like this clear channel, okay, and this cloud blowing coming over and um and blocking that channel. That's what I feel like may be happening for you, okay, because it might be like you're trying to connect in, but you just can't quite get that channel there. And that might not that might be what you want to focus on okay um reflect on the past yeah but move forward like heal what needs to be healed but make sure you move forward with with gratitude and excitement you know if you're looking for work or if you're looking for a new home or if you know these things that are quite um a, a pressure for you just do it with gratitude and excitement as much as you possibly can. If you're nervous about getting a job, turn that into excitement because it's the close to, closest emotion and easiest to turn it around rather than being nervous and trying to calm down. Okay, so make sure you really um, concentrate on that for yourself, Taurus, okay? And yeah, I... I just feel like for you it's a matter of understanding too that um you will have your time to shine it's a bit like the the sun and the moon yeah they each have their turn at coming around to shine so this is giving yourself the time to shine but also giving other people around you the time to shine okay um yeah i feel like sometimes that there's a bit of an imbalance there for some reason and it may not even be just about shining it might actually be about stepping back to let other people take the lead experiencing actually um embracing yourself with what the experience that is going on there's this need for a destination but you're not experiencing the journey okay and to treat it like an adventure because what will happen for you Taurus is you will go along and you will actually learn so many things along this path and you need to give yourself that um that experience in order to grow okay and the other thing of just what I was saying with that is stepping back and allowing other people to experience things for themselves okay so yeah sacred space oh I like this this is really such a beautiful energy here so make sure that you create a sacred space for yourself okay um Clear the space around you on a regular basis and just cut away any old energy um, to make the, the divine connection, okay, to make, in that celestial channel, to make that clearer. It may very well be that you need to regularly um, renew the energy in your space and let you know, open the windows, let some light in, clear out any clutter, um, really clear the space, not just physically, but also energetically as well, 
okay so maybe burning some sage or um incense oil anything that clears that okay being receptive and open yes yeah, see this is so that you are receptive and open and this will lead to your growth as well okay because this is really important for you right now this connecting in is really important for you this will also help with a quick clear space that's going to help you to heal because you're going to be able to tap in and find out what it is that needs to be healed a lot easier than what you would with, I feel like what I want to say is, you know, like instead of having this mind clutter, um, it's going to, to clear that so you can actually come from your mind and into your heart space okay uh, because it's like the mind is causing all this anxiety and it's not allowing your heart to open up to the opportunities and possibilities that are ahead of you and that present themselves to you it's going to be very hard for you to make a decision unless this channel is clear so take the time to do that okay um, next we have galactic vibration oh I love this this is really such a high energy um, th these cards I feel like a high energy for you so so again this is connecting in okay to to that universal spark that natural spark that is in the universe here um, and and <sighs> Taurus at night time, go outside and, and look at the stars. Connect with the stars, okay? Connect with the galaxy. Connect with that spark of the universe, okay? And, um, and, and this will help you to, to open up those channels and make that clear connection because I think what it will teach you is that you can... It will teach you to reach for the stars because at the moment it feels like you're limited and whether that's because of this clouding of your mind or um, because you're limiting yourself because of your own self-limiting beliefs, um, just go and stand outside and look at the stars and remind yourself to reach for the stars. If nothing else, remind yourself to do that for yourself, okay? So, yeah, and to make that connection with this divine creation and with the celestial channel and make the connection with source, right? This is a passionate new beginning. What is it that you desire in your heart of hearts? What do you want to create? Okay, get some guidance if you need to, right? Seek professional help. Seek a, a, a life coach um, or anyone who can put you on the right path for what you would like to create, okay? Um, and it may be that you are creating something or you have ideas about creating something and you're right at the beginning of it. Present it to people. See what they think. Get their feedback. You know, really brainstorm as to how you can actually um, make your dreams come true. Um, yeah. You know, the source... The, the, the essence of who we truly are, this divine love is in our heart. It doesn't reside in our mind. It resides in our heart. So this is where it is important for you to connect in here and clear these pathways because your mind's getting in, your, in the way and the ego's too much chatter, too much chatter in here. Okay, innocence, realizing that there's still so much to learn Taurus, okay, because this guy here is the, a master in my eyes, okay, and he sees this grasshopper sitting on his hand, now in his eyes, he sees that this grasshopper has so much to teach him, he sees himself as the student, right, and he sees himself, look at, he, sorry, he sees the grasshopper with innocence, he sees it as innocent, and he knows that he has something to learn from that, so no matter who surrounds you, okay, make sure you put yourself into the space of what do I have to learn from them, 
What can they teach me? What can this circumstance teach me? What can this situation teach, teach me? Because there's always lessons in everything. So try to make sure that you're drawing on those lessons so that you can evolve and move forward. Consciousness. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Um, I feel like for you this is about going within to rise above sort of maybe a bit of a victim mentality but like a victim consciousness type of thing to to raise that consciousness okay having self-love and compassion understanding that that will assist you you know for yourself yeah Yes, you, you have that for everyone around you, but you don't seem to be giving it to yourself because it, it's always the case that everyone else is coming before you and you need to start giving this to yourself so that you can start 100% project it out, yeah, to everyone else. So this, you know, this is going to help you with any personal realisations Finding out what it is you need to work on, it's going to help to dissolve any emotional triggers, okay? And you're going to have a higher understanding about yourself, okay? Um, and it will help dissolve any unconscious prejudices that you may have, whether it's about situations, other people, or about yourself. Okay, um, again, this is going to help clear these channels. Um, I really feel like, Taurus, it is you creating this time and space because this connection is so important for you right now to make sure you actually do that so that when anything comes along and your routine changes in your life, you're, still, you're going to have that connection so down packed that you won't ever let any routine get in the way of that. You'll make sure that this is your number one priority above all else because you can see the improvements that this connection has made to your life and you will make sure just as much as it is brushing your teeth and showering that it is part of your routine on a daily. Okay, letting go of control. Surrendering, surrendering to this higher power, surrendering to, to this divine creation. Because at the moment, there's a lot of this um, control from your mind. I've got to have it this way. I've got to do it that way. And what's going to happen if this, you know, with this, this and this, you've got to surrender and let go of that control because that is blocking your connection. Okay. And when you do that, the way is going to appear clearer for you. You're going to have a lot more trust in your intuition. You're going to understand that whatever circumstances arrive arise uh, for your highest good and for your un, for your evolvement. Sorrow. Letting go of these sorrows, letting go of, yeah, because like that victim mentality, right? Letting go of that, um, this isn't working, this is really heavy, this is really hard. Seeing how you can make it a, an adventure, right? How can you make this experience an adventure? You know, you can turn the hardest of times into an adventure, so really exploring how you can do that okay and it might take work and it's going to take a lot of creative um it's going to take divine creation right and and you can tap into that when you clear these channels and clear your space and clear your mind you can tap into that to see how you can actually achieve that okay well being yes taurus you know this is really seeking Peaceful places to refuel, okay? Um, but part of your service is to help 
young ones and it could be young ones around you or could this could be what you end up doing as a, a regular um, job or even if it's voluntary work whatever um, and it's important for you to draw on your own youthful experiences to guide others Okay, going back to when you were young and, and how was it for you? Okay, times were different maybe then. Um, but, you know, teaching people from your own experiences and, and how you learnt different things and, and what these things taught you, whether it was a hard time and how you got through it and, and you overcame it using a particular technique or in a particular way. You know, so um, integrating integrating all of your knowledge all of your lessons so far and and using those to help others okay and also i want to say this is to do with the shadow and the light self okay seeing the shadow self seeing these parts of you you don't want to be revealed and bringing them into the light to be learned from. It doesn't mean you have to share your most deepest, darkest secrets, but what you can share is the lessons you have learnt from that and how to heal yourself, you know, um, that will help to heal others and really looking at things um, honestly and seeing if there's any cycles in your life that are repetitive and how it is that you can change those, okay, um, by looking at maybe how you might be contributing to those and harmony, bringing in this peaceful harmony into your life, connecting into your heart so that this brings harmony to your mind, brings peace to your mind, because it is really time to lead from the heart, okay, dropping from your mind into your heart, because this is where source resides, it doesn't reside in your mind, your authentic self resides in your heart, not your mind. So really, Taurus, start leading with your heart, light seeker, awesome, Yes, this is you, Taurus, right? You're the light seeker, yeah? <sighs> like, you know, it's like holding this torch in the darkness, yeah? Confronting fears, learning, educating yourself, right? Seeing through this matrix that, like, that holds the unawakened Really? Because if you look here behind this guy, he's standing in front of this matrix here because he's seen through it. He's walked through it. You will be able to guide others through it if they so need it. Yeah, and look, even the matrix looks really pretty, okay? But it is a disguise. Um, yeah, you know, you are the light bearer. You have come to shine in the dark, in these dark times. And so this is where, you know, you have to draw on everything you have, bring you out, you know, because your journey has taught you resili resilience, it's given you resilience, um, you know, really made you a lot mentally stronger, um, emotionally stronger, um, and, you know, maybe there's certain things in your lifetime or in your past um, that you still need to work through to gain that. Um, but honestly, Taurus, do the work because, man, oh, man, it is going to be worth it. With this light seeker here, 100%, I think that you are definitely the one who will lead the way for many, okay, by shining your light totality you uh i feel like part of you taurus i feel like you feel you there's this sense of it never happening because if you look at these acrobats right they have to swing back and forth in order to grab the hand of this one over here who's also swinging back and forth but has a shorter swing so it's up to these two to build the momentum to get the height in order to make this connection and this is what I feel like you need to do and it's like it, it might feel like oh my gosh I've been trying this for ages and ages and it's just not happening I'm here to tell you to keep going because you're almost there you're almost making this connection okay and once this connection is made this light here 
will shine brighter. Okay, the light that you bear will absolutely explode in a good way, right? Patience, yes, have patience with yourself. Nurture this practice, nurture yourself, okay? Realize that this is a cycle that you need to go through in order to bring this forth. And don't give up, do not give up past life. How interesting. Past life. So, yeah, uh, uh, healing or, or addressing past life memories, okay? Some of you may remember things from the past or you may, this, you know, from past lives, but also the past as well, okay? Um, meditate, for sure. There's sort of this fear of failure for some of you, Taurus, so... Make sure that you're working on that as well, okay? Um, and, and, and give your soul's desires to the universe. Really surrender what it is that you truly want in your heart to the universe to, and trust that um, the universe will take care of that. And um, the other thing here is be present. Okay, stand in the present, ground yourself in the present, okay, because whatever has happened in the past, um, and I'm not discounting, you know, or minimizing anything that has happened in the past, but by grounding yourself in the present lets you know that you are solid, um, you have your back, okay, and you have made it through thus far. So make sure that you um, are allowing yourself to be completely and utterly present, okay? And this will also help you with this connection, okay? Here we have fighting and exhaustion. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like maybe this is what you feel like. Okay, and, and, and potentially this is why this has come up to surrender. Surrender to the universe and just hand it all over. Okay, you don't need to carry it anymore because you're the light seeker. Light seekers don't need to carry that. Okay, but it feels like maybe for some of you you're choosing to still and you need to let that go. As uncomfortable as it may be, it is time to let that go. Okay, Taurus, so yeah, some work to do, but it's going to be absolutely worth it. This connection is the most important thing, and once you hit that, man, you're going to be whoo, flying. We won't be able to keep up with you. So yeah, take care of your beautiful selves, Taurus. Until next time, see you. Bye-bye.